Welcome. We're going to take a look at the process of going from a brainstorm to an outline and using that as a note-taking tool. So what we're going to cover today is going to be what is a brainstorm and how to make one, what is an outline and how to make one, and a variety of different graphic organizer options that you can use. So in the past, at some point in school, you have probably created plans for different kinds of essays and projects, research papers, that sort of thing. You've probably learned about the five-step writing process. This is sometimes shortened into a four-step writing process, where it's sometimes lengthened into a six- or seven-step process. It's all pretty much the same idea, though. And you've also probably organized your learning by using notes. So let's take a look at why we take notes in the first place. What we're trying to do is to organize information, to focus our attention, to create a useful study school, and to prepare for a large project. Note-taking is something that you'll use a lot in school, but you'll also use it outside of school in the workplace as well. So why is it important to be organized? Being organized saves you a lot of trouble can help you to learn faster, to study faster, to lower your stress dealing with school, dealing with particular classes, and to help you stay prepared. Those are all pretty important. So what is a brainstorm? A brainstorm is a tool where information, questions, data are all collected into one place. A brainstorm can be used as part of the writing or project creation process. Here's an example of what a brainstorm might look like. In a brainstorm, you'll see here there are individual words, there are phrases, there are questions, there are um, specific topics. All of these things are just thrown together. That's what a brainstorm is. A brainstorm is not necessarily organized. It's just thrown together with lots of ideas. So then when we take our brainstorm, now we want to outline it. We want to take that information and put it together in a manner that it makes sense. So what we've done with our brainstorm is we've taken this general question out of the brainstorm. Why are we so fascinated with the undead? And we broke this into three major points. Modern literature, genres, and older literature. And then what we did is we took ideas out of the brainstorm and we included them here to create our outline. So for modern literature we took Teens Like Zombies, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, Twilight, and Interview with a Vampire. We took all of those from the brainstorm and we included them here under point number one of the outline. Here's the basic outline here for how you would put an outline together. So you have your Roman numerals on the very far left and then to indent in you have capital letters that go down indented again into lowercase letters and then indented into numbers and so forth. The further left you are the more broad and open and general that your topic is and the more that you move to the right the more specific and detailed that your information is. You can use other kinds of graphic organizers too. This is the basic idea here of how a map gra graphic organizer would look. This one is not necessarily a completed graphic organizer, but it is one to get you started and get you the general idea. Here we have our topic, why are we so fascinated with the undead? And then we have our three subtopics, modern literature, genres, and older literature. Under each of these, we could put additional information As well, you can also look at Venn diagrams. Venn diagram is a great tool to use particularly for comparison and contrast. The way you use it here is that in the left, in the yellow bubble, we have one major idea. On the right, in the brown bubble, we have a second major idea. And then in the red, which is where we're overlapping, we have the ideas that are common in both, both of these bubbles, both the yellow and the brown. So a Venn diagram shows where things are different and where things are similar. 
You can also use three column notes. Three column notes are very, very popular amongst high school students because they're really easy and logical to use. Here we've broken down each different column with each of the subtopics, modern literature, older literature, and genres. And all you do under there is list out all of the different ideas that you have. Some helpful steps to follow in terms of doing this. One, be sure to read all of the material that you have that you need to learn. Two, add in your own questions, your own thoughts, your own data that you know. Three, organize the information into an outline or one of the other graphic organizers. And four, ensure that you understand this material before moving forward. This is one of the big mistakes that students make. They start blasting forward without understanding those earlier steps. Make sure you understand all the steps to do well. So how do you use outlines outside of school? Well, you definitely use them for essays and projects. They're one of the major components of essays and projects. You will also use them for professional presentations. Any time that, say, you're giving a presentation for a board or for a group of stockholders or at a manager's meeting or something like this, you're definitely want to have, going to want to have an outline to back you up. Any time that you're doing data collection or studies management, again, an outline will help you to stay organized. So, questions that come up, when do you take notes? Any time that you're learning something is a great time to take notes. Do the notes have to look a certain way? Not necessarily. They should be organized for you and they should be readable for you. Do the notes have to be spelled correctly? Not necessarily. If it's something that you're going to turn in for credit, you do want to spell it correctly, but if it's just for you, that's not as much of an issue. Expectations of students. While you're studying, you should always pay close attention, take notes, stay organized, and make sure that you understand the main points and the supporting evidence. Very important. What we've covered here is that note-taking is a cover cornerstone of good study skills. You need to take notes every time that you study. Make sure that you organize your notes by using a graphic organizer of your choice and apply other organizational tools into your graphic organizers if needed, like color coding or sticky notes. At this point, you should be able to know what a brainstorm is and how to create one, know what an outline is and how to create one, and understand different graphic organizers. Online schools can be fun as long as you're well organized. Enjoy!